Well, that's the car dropped off for its MOT, the Mondeo, that is. It's that time of year again. So I've done as much as I can on it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it does get through. Uh, we've done a set of wipers on it. Didn't fill them to put the wipers on due to the fact that it was actually stopping down rain when I needed to put them on and I had to go out and use the car. So the wipers got put on, sorted out the indicators on the front. So one of them is no longer a side light and the other one isn't flashing purple or pink whenever you use it. Sorted that out. You should have seen that if you watched the previous video on uh, getting the, the, the Mondeo ready for its MOT. That was all done. I've uh, done a little bit more trim bits on it that it needed just to make it look a little bit better. So it's off for its MOT. Hopefully it'll be a pass. Uh, happy to have a couple of advisories on it. Advisories are sorted out. I'd be happy with that as long as it gets a pass because I do need to use the car tomorrow. Uh, it's one of those events that I have to go to. I can't not go to the event I'm going to tomorrow. So I do need the car to pass today. I have told the garage I need it to pass. I've given them a budget and I've said when you MOT it, if it fails on something up to that budget, just put it through, get it fixed, get it MOT, get it back on the road. I'm hopeful that that's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lift. Uh, there's not one in the garage. The garage isn't the right height. There's not enough space. I don't have space outside to put an external one, unfortunately. So there are some things underneath the car that I'm totally unable to check. But everything else seems to be okay. All the lights are working. The horn works. The wipers work. The windscreen washers work. Yes, there's water in the windscreen washers. I did make sure of that. It doesn't appear to be anything major wrong with the car. There's no clonks. There's no bangs everything's okay so i've just dropped that off at the garage i'm just getting back from that i'm just going to wait for the phone call which i'll get a little bit later on and then i'm going to pick the car up and let you know what the outcome is well just getting back with the car went to the garage got the phone call went to the garage picked it up brought it straight back to the house and i have in my hands a bit of paper so what is the news? Did it pass? Did it fail? Was there any advisories? Was there any issues with it? Well, it passed. So it's a pass. Fantastic. So it's on the road for another full 12 months. A couple of advisories, the normal stuff. Um, pitted or scored brake discs on the front, but they're not seriously weakened. That's on both sides at the front. Uh, corroded brake pipes. Obviously, brake pipes are on the road all the time or just literally off the road. Obviously, get those checked out and replace those should they be seriously corroded because the last thing we want to do is to lose any more brakes. And um, a couple of worn pins or bushes, which is more than likely the uh, the ball joints, have got a little bit of wear on them. At the, is it the front of the car? Yes, it is. It's at the front of the vehicle. So all's good. Uh, they are advisories. They do need to be done. So we're looking to getting those done. Outside of that, though, it's a straight pass. For those of you interested in the numbers as far as the emissions is concerned on the uh, the cd pass uh, it, it passed on all its emissions the cd one which i'm assuming is carbon dioxide obviously correct me in the comments below if i'm wrong uh, but that came out at 0 0.64 and it had a max limit of 3.50 that it could have gone up to so that came through at 0 0.64 which is absolutely brilliant and the hydrocarbons was also a pass it came out at 350 parts per million of hydrocarbons and the limit on that one is 1200 parts per million of hydrocarbons so for those of you that like to know figures that's what that is uh, obviously it was a straightforward pass on the smoke test because there just simply wasn't any smoke coming out of it uh, so that's absolutely brilliant another thing that i've uh, i've noticed when i was looking at this bit of paper and i was in paying for the mot at the garage there if the MOT that was done on the 30th of July in 2021, the myelometer or the odometer was reading 170,959 miles. A year later, on the 23rd of June in 2022, when it was MOT'd again, it was reading 171,378 miles. So around about 250-ish miles in that entire year. And then on the 30th of June last year, 2023, it was only sitting at 171,546. So it's done around about 200 miles or thereabouts between MOTs uh, from 2022 to 2023. And then obviously I've purchased it in late 2023. And uh, it's now sitting, as we look at it, at yeah, 172,178 miles it's sitting at now which gives it, it's about 600-ish, 600, 600, 700 miles-ish I've done in it since um, I put it on the road on the beginning of December last year, 2023. So, all in all, a great result. 
Mondeo is back on the road for another 12 months, a couple of advisories to deal with. Uh, the other outside of that, though, um, it's just here to enjoy and here to drive around, unless, of course, something better turns up in the meantime, or somebody out there that you're watching at the minute, uh, have you have a, a burning desire for a 1995 2-litre automatic Ford Mondeo hatchback Mark 1, um, get in touch, let me know. Um, outside of that, though, I'm immensely pleased to say that it has gone through its MOT and we've got another year's motoring in this glorious car that is in absolutely amazing condition to have a little over 172,000 miles on it. In the meantime, though, I'm going to put this in the file with the rest of the stuff that belongs to the Mondeo and grab a cup of coffee, I think, possibly something to eat. If you've enjoyed watching the short series on the Mondeo over there and uh, getting it ready for a time tea and getting it through a time tea, then press the like button on the way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you like seeing stuff like this. Plenty more to come. We've got another four or five cars to work on yet and to play with yet. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.